Michael, auto sales have failed to pick up and as a result, auto ancillary companies continue to remain under pressure. Alloy wheels maker Steel Strips Wheels reported quarter one earnings post market hours yesterday. Let's speak to the management about the extent of the sales slowdown in the quarter gone by. Joining us on the phone line is the MDNC, Mr. Dheeraj Garg. Uh, Mr. Garg, thanks very much for taking out the time. Obviously, uh, you know, you've seen the Mesana plan financial impact uh, uh, this quarter is so probably not comparable on a like track basis. But overall, how has business been this quarter? Yeah, this year, uh, in the first quarter of this financial year, the domestic sales were down by 22%, but our exports were up by 101%. So going forward in quarter two, we expect domestic demand to fall by another 19% compared to last year, but our exports going up by 122%, which means that overall, the second quarter would be our best quarter in our history, with sales going up to 4.2 million wheels. So quarter two looks great on back of exports. Uh, just for the year, uh, in terms of a projection, you know, uh, with the Mesana plant uh, included now, what would you anticipate the overall growth to be like in percentage terms? And, uh, you know, how would you retain margins? So, as I said, the qu second quarter that is uh, uh, started now in July would be a best quarter in terms of uh, volume, 4.2 million wheels. And in terms of turnover, this would also be the highest uh, uh, value in terms of turnover, but depending upon the product mix. Uh, so we are assuming that the CV market uh, will again uh, be subdued. And uh, so, but in terms of volume, yes, it would be the highest. And to project for the whole year, I think it would be at the moment very difficult to uh, come up with the numbers considering the slowdown in the domestic market. But what we know for quarter two, it should be our best quarter in terms of volume. But in terms of turnover, it may not be the best uh, number. So, and going forward, the only uh, great thing happening to our company is the exports market. The exports market, as I said, has doubled over last year, and we expect that quarter, th uh, quarter three would be even better than quarter two, and quarter four would be even better than quarter three, simply because we have a huge market in the U.S. Uh, after the Trump-China tariff wars, and that has opened up a huge market for us. Which is the but incremental the gain from... Uh, what you just said with regards to the market opening up for you because of the U.S.-China trade wars? Yes, that is correct. So we have, there's a lot of anti-dumping duty on uh, Chinese wheels and uh, as a result, uh, the market, you know, is open to us and countries like Vietnam, etc. But uh, given the fact that we have the volumes and the quality, we are able to penetrate this market very aggressively. Okay. How would margins shape up Deeraj in a scenario like this? Export strong, so, domestic not so strong? The export margins would be tremendous. Uh, the so export margins would, would be almost double the domestic margins. And, uh, and the fact that uh, we're entering a, into a market which is a long-term market. It's just not a one-off market because the anti-dumping duty is for five years. So we will have a run uh, for the next five years in terms of uh, volume and margins. No, so what would console margins look like? So they would be plus 20%. Plus 20%. From 12% now? Yes, correct. To about what, 14 and a half then? No. So the, I, see, I wouldn't be able to give you the margins for the whole year, but as I can tell you, the export, because I don't know how the market will behave, because it has behaved so erratically, yeah, but the domestic market but has when you're saying so a plus it's naive for me to you know, give you your number. But yes, exports will almost double, maybe 150% increase in exports with a, a better margin of plus 20%. And not only the U.S. market, the European market is also uh, shaping up to be great because the Europeans are also, uh, you know, oh, putting anti-dumping duties on Chinese wheels. So the, that market is also opened up to us. So, you know, we are now more focused on the export market and we'll let's see if but the domestic market picks up that an icing on the cake. Ditaj, one final question from mine at least. So your margins, I'm not asking for a definitive number, but from mm -hmm. the 12% console numbers, they will uh -huh. inch up uh, sure. to 14, 14 and a half percent? Up. They will definitely inch up, and uh, this is on the steel wheels business. So yes, I mean, if 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 you assume that the domestic market remains at the level that it is right now, uh, we should be looking at about 15, 15 and a half percent a bit of margin on overall basis. All right, that's uh, a very uh, um, you know. Um, optimistic outlook and hope hopefully uh, you come through on those numbers. Uh, Deeraj, thanks very much for joining us. Really appreciate you taking out the time this morning. Okay, no worries. Thank you.